Rashida Tlaib forcibly dragged from a Trump rally in 2016. Now a congresswoman, the controversial congresswoman, is facing an ethics probe at the federal level. Our friend of the show, Barry Nussbaum of the American Truth Project, is here to talk about the ins and outs of all of this. Barry, what's going on? You have just shown a video, Amy, of maybe the wackiest person ever elected to Congress, at <laughs> least during our lifetimes. <laughs> she has bragged about her mouth. Um, she loves F-bombs, especially on camera. She has bragged about the fact that she is going to lead the charge to uh, impeach the mother effer. That's mm -hmm. in regards to Donald Trump, and her campaign is now pushing t shirts uh, of that high quality. <laughs> uh, the more you learn about her, the more afraid you ought to be that this woman is in charge of affecting your and my lifetime and maybe millions of Americans too. The more you dive in, the uglier the news is is Amy this is one bad apple she's accused of hating everyone Jews Israel America being racist and we're gonna have some sound of her recently um, uh, in just a few moments but what is specifically this ethics probe about well you're not allowed to dip into your campaign funds to pay your own bills um, when people donate, it, there are very strict regulations, very strict on uh, accounting and also uh, disclosure to people at large. Um, you're not allowed to take money out of the campaign to pay bills for yourself unless it's related to the campaign and, and they have to match up. There is a federal investigation. She's apparently gotten away with some 17 plus thousands of dollars that she paid herself without any justification. And uh, the Federal Election Commission is looking into it and it is serious. Wow. Uh, and how, uh, who called for this probe, do you know? Yeah, there were a number of people in Washington. There are uh, a, a lot of political opponents that once the disclosures came out, they said, hey, you're not allowed to do this. Um, she is pushed back aggressively, uh, and her basic defense for any question of her behavior is the people that are asking are, I know it's going to shock you, racist. And that's why she's being investigated. Meanwhile, the federal government uh, is looking into it, and supposedly there will be a decision by next month. Wow. Uh, she does seem to surround herself with radicals, and some are calling her a radical herself. Um, what, 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 what is it about some of these friends and some of these people that are around her? You know, there's, there's a number of them, Amy, that are affiliated with such shocking terror groups that you would think even somebody that's masquerading as part of the political scene, like Rashida Tlaib, would disassociate herself from. And ironically, she runs into their arms and then defends the relationship uh, permanently. There's one guy, um, Abbas Hamadeh, who not only was at her victory party and her swearing in, but has shown up in her offices. They have numerous uh, photo ops together. This guy is so radical, he called the Hezbollah chief one of the greatest men on earth. Now, Hezbollah, for those that don't know, mm -hmm. is a terror organization um, and has been declared so by basically every Western country on earth. Uh, before 2001, they were responsible for the deaths of more Americans uh, than any other terror group in history. Uh, they have killed Americans around the world. They've killed Israelis. They're famous for infiltrating into Israel and blowing up buses and schools and so on. And this Hamaday guy loves Hezbollah. And, <laughs> and Rashida Tlaib loves Hamaday. And it might be uh, because it goes back to her campaign issue, which is, I love Palestine. She draped herself in a Palestinian flag uh, at her inauguration. Um, she proclaims loud, loud to anyone that will listen that she's in Congress to help Palestine, doesn't mention anything about the United States. And ironically, and this is really demonstrative of where her loyalties lie, Amy, when she was um, asked her opinion on the BDS legislation going through Congress, meaning 
Uh, Congress declared it anti-Semitic and is opposed to it. She said that anybody that supports that kind of legislation is more loyal to Israel than to America. And ironically, she's the one with the Palestinian flag, not the American flag around her. And she's the one that took the map of Israel uh, in her office and had a Palestinian sign placed over it, meaning Israel doesn't exist. It's all Palestine. This is somebody that is very dangerous and needs to be watched. That's the work of so many to say it's all Palestine and Israel does not exist. And as we know, everything changed a few decades ago and people were making Aliyah and going back. And Israel, just a, one of our closest allies, we are both nations founded by people of the book. And, you know, why, you know, this is, there are more Muslims than ever running for office for the next cycle as well. And we have some Muslims in Congress now and some don't like it. Why is it a problem? And, well, I will ask, is it because Rashida Tlaib and some of the people like her are just, again, too anti-Israel and just going too far? And maybe they're not making a good representation of the Palestinians. Well, there's a couple of answers to that, Amy. I would say that our country is exclusive uh, amongst the countries of the world that we let everybody participate. And yeah. uh, we're blind when it comes to race, creed, color, national origin, your belief systems, um, your sexual orientation, and so on, and we should be that way. But when somebody puts other interests above the interest or in front of the United States, that scares me. It scares me as an American who is patriotic and wants America to come first. Quite simply, our closest ally, maybe in the world, is Israel. They're our closest ally against terror, uh, working night and day around the clock with Americans, both um, overtly and covertly, to stop terror. Mm. And when someone like Rashida Tlaib welcomes a terror supporter into her inner circle who says, the head of Hezbollah is one of the greatest men on earth. That scares me because that guy's responsible for the deaths of hundreds of Americans and will continue to do so every chance he gets.